Hey folks, Harry here and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft Survival. In this episode, I am wanting to go and get a whole load of diamond as well as enchant it up as much as we can. And also, I want to set up our mining camp. Yes, I am doing a camp for my mining area this time. So hopefully it looks good, but let's get into it. All right, first things first first is actually getting down to our mining camp area which is all the way down there this wee bit i've already got some diamonds all sorted out so that we can just get in with our fortune 3 pickaxe here and mine them up and hopefully get a whole load of diamonds now currently i have 60 which is really good to begin with but obviously I need a lot more diamonds for the armor stuff. New tools because these ones are going to run out fairly quickly. And also for things like upgrades from netherite and also the armor trims and things like that. So let's get down, see how many we can get. So this is the area that I got for mining. Down here we have got our mining tunnel all started out and then we have our staircase all the way up which we will change into something else but yeah let's go and see how many diamonds we can get so i've uncovered quite a few of them some of them are in plain sight so let's get digging wow one and we got we get max amount from that nice Oh my god, that was so lucky. Oh. Oh. My heart is pounding right now. Oh, oh, oh. that was a... Oh, wow, that was a... That was a strong bow, jeez. I thought I'd get everything lit up. Obviously not. But that's all the diamonds I can see at the moment. So, how many do we get? 93 diamonds just from that that is so good but let's get out of here before we die and let's go and let's go and figure out how we're going to make some xp if i'm wanting to get an xp farm i kind of want one that will be easy to get to and easy to use now there is a couple around about me that i have used chunk base to try and find one is a skeleton spawner and one is a spider spawner now I would love to get the skeleton spawner, but it's right next to an ancient city. Yeah, yeah, there's an ancient city literally right next to it. And I do not want to take the risk that I will accidentally spawn a warden, a warden on myself. So, skeleton spawner it is. And fun fact, it's not that far away. It should just be over here where the cherry trees are, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go try and find that, light it up, make sure it's safe, and then we will build a skeleton farm. Not a skeleton farm, a spider farm, an XP farm, so that we can get lots of XP. Oh, only problem with this one is that it is very, very treacherous to get to. Now, I could build a bridge. Now, that's, that's funny. That'll be fun to do, because it should just be up here. So if I can build a bridge up to there, and then we have like a workstation, workshop or something like that, or a stu ooh, a silk shop. That's smart. Mmm, yeah. We do that, that'll make it good. We have a dog up here. Hello, I don't have any bones to tame you, but it's one of the new dogs. You look so cute. But I need cats more than dogs. Sorry. Oh, skeleton, give me your bones. I got two. Yes, we got him. Awesome. Now we need a name for this guy. Ah, yeah, it's here. Okay, what did we get in here? Oh, music disc. Oh, the other side. And melon seeds. That's good. <sighs> we actually got a name tag. That's so handy. 
and some horse armor as well. That's cool. Right, let's get rid of that. And we found it. So this is where it's going to be. My question is, yeah. I can s think I can set up here. Oh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So this is going to be the entrance to the house or the warehouse or whatever we're going to call it for the spider farm itself. Yeah, perfect. So that's there and that's where I want to put the bridge. So that's actually really handy. I can clear this bit away a wee bit, make it a bit safer and set that up. So that's so cool. Right, okay. Well, let's get started on that. But I think getting the actual spawner set up first is going to be so much handier. But I don't think we'll set it up the same way you would normally with a skeleton or a zombie spawner. Anyway, let me build a, 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 a temporary bridge across, make it a bit easier for us. And give us a rough estimate of how big it's going to be. Like, that's perfect big but it gives us a bit under here so we could put like a pathway all the way down that will be cool anyway let's go and get some equipment that we need to build this spider farm i i need one piece of iron i need one piece of iron for some hoppers that's it and i have no idea what it, there was i'm pretty sure there was a cave around here no. And like, I seen a load of iron and I thought I was going to dig it up. I was like, oh, I should dig that up. But I didn't because I'm like, nah, I probably wouldn't need it. I need it. I need it. Okay, so I think I've got pretty much everything. I've got a crafting table just in case I need to do anything extra. I need these, them, I need another bucket of water and this. And that is pretty much it. Hopefully. So let's go. Let's go get mining. All right, let's get started with this. So I'm going to triply make sure that I have nothing wrong with this. And I've been told to dig up five or six. One, one, two, three, four, five. Right, so uh, here. Right, careful. Oh, gosh, right. So, and then I want to just block that off so that no spiders, hopefully, will get stuck in there. And then I need to go out four in this direction and four in this direction. So we now have a basic shape. Let's dig it out. Now I just need to make sure this is all the same height. Right, now that we have that, we need to dig down three all the way around. And then I need to block it in. Awesome, we're getting done so quick. Right, this way. Now we need to go a few blocks in this direction. I can't actually remember how many. And then I need to get my slabs and pop them here. Then I need to get my water buckets. And I want to create an infinite source. So I can get my water back. Like that. And then I need to find this bit here. 
where the water stops and dig it out like so and then I need to take out these blocks here and then oh yeah I need to go down one more don't I yeah so like that and then I'm going to I'm going to pop that there just now and then I'm going to go out a few more blocks in this direction now do I still yeah I'm still setting that off that's fine so from here I want to go out to create this and then I'm going to put these iron trap doors Am I doing this right? I don't feel like I'm doing this right. I know I am. I need to go up one more. There. Yes. And then if I do this, they all come here and they're stuck. Perfect. Perfect. And then I'll put this block here. And I'm actually going to build up to here. And then I'm going to go up two blocks all the way across like this. And then I'm going to get these fence gates and I'm going to pop them along like this. I hope I've got enough. Yes, just. And then we're going to open them all up. Not like that. We'll open them all up like this. And then we're going to grab the water source here. Ah, oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, that wasn't fine. And then I'm going to block this all off here. Like that. And then I'm going to head back down before we get killed. Ooh. Right, there we go. Go in here. Right, so... Is that worked? That's worked. Right, that's fine. That's good. That's what I want. Now, this should help with any spiders that decide to climb up here. They'll get caught in the water and then they'll start to drown so our rates shouldn't diminish at all so the height will stop the will stop the spiders counting in the spawn for this but this will stop the lag if any get up this side which i don't think a lot of them will at this moment in time i am not caring about aesthetics so this is absolutely fine for what i need yeah and now I just need a way up. Cool. Now I just need to get in and turn all the lights off. And hopefully this will be dark enough. Oh yes. This is good. We've got something that works and we're going to get lots and lots of XP. Oh, you're cute. So I'm going to answer the AFK, AFK, AFK for a bit, get a whole load of XP, and then we'll go and try and up our armor stuff so that it's a lot better. All right, we are pretty much finished for the moment. 40 levels, that's really good. Now that should give me at least each piece of armor and a new sword, possibly a new axe. I don't know yet. We'll see what the sword is. I want to try and get either Bane of Arthropods or Sweeping Edge, really, more than anything. And then I can combine with the sword if need be, but Sharpness 4 is good for it. I would rather have Sharpness 5. Anyway, let's go and see what we can get. Let's make these pieces of armor. All done. We need some lapis. Jump up the stairs. And let's get enchanting. So respiration three is okay. Uh, thorns two, no. Unbreaking three would be good. Uh, Depth strider three. Um, I think that would be the better one to go for. That's really good. Unbreaking three, protection four, and depth strider three is amazing. Oh, I lost the helmet. Oops. All right. Unbreaking three. Fire protection 4, fire protection 4, it looks like that's, oh wow, like that's the best you could get, 
Right, fire protection. Blast protection, yes please. Oh, it's not got unbreaking though. Fire protection, oh. I mean, fire protection would be good, but... Oh. Unbreaking tea is all right. I will take that. That's that's good. There we go. So that's is better than nothing. I will say that. And that blast protection is going to help us with creepers. Now I don't have any enchantments for my shield though, which is a bit annoying. But hey ho, we'll get there at some point. Anyway, now I am going to get a load of wood, and I'm going to actually need some wool. Alright, so I got quite a bit of stuff. So I've got oak logs and I have got spruce logs, but the spruce I want to change into strip logs, so I'm going to quickly get this all done. So that's now all stripped down. I've got some extra dirt and grass here, and I've got the wood and the wool for a few other things. I have cleared the tunnel out a wee bit, Making it a bit bigger because I am going to make it shorter. So it's going to be three wide with logs going up and around as a kind of brace. I, I, it took me a wee second to get that word out. Yeah, as a, as a brace to hold the walls up and then we're going to texture the walls with like cobblestone and a sight stone and things like that. Just to give it that kind of feel of it's been dug out and they've packed it up to keep it all nice in. But I do need to clear the glass. I do need to clear the grass just a little bit, make it a bit nicer and neater, and round it off in some parts because I do feel it's a bit too harsh. I need to go and get a water bucket first. And the worst part was I was literally just up there. Anyway, let's go get it, and we'll get rid of some of this grass. So I'm down to my last four to two stakes. So I thought I'm over here. May as well just start planting. So I got a few down. We've got a couple of wheat ones. I've got some water parts for expansion once we get to it. But my hole was just literally about to break. So I stopped. Anyway, let's get our bucket. We'll jump up to places and start getting rid of some of this short grass. Just the same way we done it earlier by doing that. All right, so all grass is moved and it's smoothed out. I'm liking it. It's rounded. It's feeling a bit nicer. Oh, there's a wee bit for this here. Anyway, let me get started on the walls and then we will see how they look because I have an idea of what I want to do with them, but I don't know how how well it will look. All right, I have a general layout of where I want the kind of wall to go, which is really quite cool. And now I need to go up maybe two or three levels alternating between the oak and the spruce and how I'm going to do this is with the tweaker room mod right and this this will just let me place the blocks in the kind of way I like it and I'm just yeah it does work so I will show you now that I have this on basically I can start here and just walk along and it will place it for me which it just helps. It just helps so much more, but it does allow for a better texturing. I honestly think my house would look a lot more authentic than me trying to place it, and that's just being a random number generator just saying, oh, I'm going to put this here. I honestly think it makes it... Oh, it's getting dark. Just look a lot better when it's placed by this, because I would have no idea where and when to place, so this just helps me out. Anyway, let me finish this up and we'll see how it looks. All right, it's in. Now, this is supposed to signify a wooden log sort of wall thing, where this is the post being put in, they're kind of newer, and as they go up, they kind of fade over time and possibly would have a point on top of them. Now, I don't have any pointed dripstone to do that at the moment, but that's something we can't add. But I kind of like it. It looks nice, and I want to go in some places like here and add in rocks and things like that, and then maybe some down here. Don't know yet, but I do have some cobblestone and andesite that I'm going to put to good use using the randomizer. So let's get to that. All right, so I want to get the next part in, and this is where the wool comes in, but I need some colored wool. I need some red wool. Thankfully, I have some 
Oh no, I need a lot more than that. Okay, okay, let's go find some red flowers before it gets night time. I reckon 12 could be enough. But let's get, let's get building. It's a shame I still don't have replay mod, but I hopefully we'll get this sorted fairly soon. But let's get going. Yeah, right, they're in. They are looking good. I'm going the wrong way. I need to do that. Uh, yeah, so we have tents. These are quite cool. They're not finished yet. I've got some interior stuff to do in here. I want a crafting table and a cartographer's table in here. This is the big boss man's hut. So I want that in so that it looks more sophisticated. And also the boss man's going to have his monocle and all that from the cartographer's table. And then I want to try and get roads in and things like this bit here is going to be the work site where all the stone and all that gets processed and the ores and things before they'll officially go off into the town where the masons and all that will deal with. I have to get the the road in. So there's going to be a road coming out here and it's going to come along here. I want a watchtower off to this part here. Probably in here or up here. Just a wee small watchtower, just nothing fancy is just aesthetics because i think a mining camp first port of invasion i mean they've got to come through here or here to kind of invade the kingdom so that would be the first watchtower which can then somehow warn the big city itself uh, it's becoming night time and i want to be safe so Let's get on with the next part. From up here, this this is starting to look really, really good. I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. All right, so I'm pretty much done. I do have a few things to add, like beds and stuff like that. But we've got a cartographer's table. We've got a smithing table in here as well, which is next to this table where I would love to get like maps and stuff like that on it, but probably won't be able to actually... If I do stairs upside down, I might be able to do that more and have a map of the mining area sort of thing. Yeah, that's smart. Now, obviously, we've got the cartographer's table and then we've got a cooking pit here for some food. We've got some camps, like tents that we can put more beds in for workers. Same with here. I've set up the area for processing. I ran out of coarse dirt. So I wasn't able to fill that all in. I've got this all sorted where we're going to get the gradient of the dirt into the stone with the dragon all of their feet in and out sort of thing. I built this gate area which is kind of nice. I like it. I like it. And then we've got the start of the dirt path that will lead all the way up to the kingdom. I need to put some carts in as well. But yeah, I'm liking it. I even added this waterfall feature over here, which I thought was kind of cool. I used the the stairs, yeah, the stairs, as a kind of cobblestone path to walk over. And then I'm going to put the watchtower here, which will go up. But yeah, the waterfall is looking nice. It looks like it's been cut into. I might round this off a wee bit, but it's coming out of here, which is nothing... And then, yeah, into this wee water feature here where they get their water for food and things like that. But yeah, I'm liking it. Now, I did try the pointed dripstone on the top of these logs. Did not look nice at all. It looked very, very strange. So that's out the window, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, let's get this watchtower built and hopefully I can get a lot more gravel as well. I'm going to try and see if I can get a load of beds made up and put them in. I'm looking for gravel, and I I stumble upon this guy. Uh, there's two. I didn't notice him until I heard the noise, and then I seen this one. Like, there's actually armadillos. I do not have a brush, or I would get some scoots for some armor. See if I look really closely, you can see our house right there. I'm I'm done. I feel like I'm done with it. Like, don't know. Just let me know what you think. Yeah, I mean, 
Oh, I don't know. We have seating areas around the cooking pot so we can get our food, sit down and <laughs> eat. We've got bunk beds in the tents for workers. We get a wee bit for work, whatever. Probably try and see if I can get invisible signs. No. Item frames installed. And we can get like paperwork sitting there. Uh, that's kind of the same in here. I've got this all worked out. And I forgot to do something. We have a cart that's loaded with some stone and andesite and cobblestone. We've got extra stuff here waiting to ready to go. It's all lit up. We've got the core start, kind of making it rough. I did look into kind of gradient texture in it, but I didn't like where it was. And it just didn't feel like a worn down bit of grass. It felt like it was... Too busy, too much. And then we've got our area into our mine shaft, which is not finished yet. I've got to texturize all these walls. But we've got the the beams to support beams to keep it all up and safe. I'm not finished in here either. I'm gonna sort of block this off to make it look a bit nicer. But yeah, it's 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 nice. I like it. Which, I'm so confused with myself. I'm not a builder. I mean, I get a wee bit of inspiration for stuff like this, but... I mean, my wee watchtower is nice. And then we've got this, but... Ah, I forgot about this. this I'm going to put mud here. So, dirt, and then get a water bottle and make it wet. Which I thought was quite a fun. But, like, our watchtower, we can go up and we can look out and... It's nice, and we can, ooh, I nearly fell off there. But yeah, it's it's cool. And then the watchtower's obviously going to watch this area, which is, all these trees are going to go, and there's going to be massive pathways all around, and farmlands and things like that. And I have a plan for this. I was going to make it into houses, but then I thought, no. Wizard's Tower, we've got to make that a kind of lone place that is barren almost but only of houses it's not barren of life it's barren of houses so nobody really stays there next to it because they're scared something's going to happen but yeah i have a massive plan for this area and then obviously we've got our bridge to go across but this whole place is this I've, i'm going to flatten this as much as possible make it all nice and smooth Try and keep this as much height as possible. But yeah, the it's done. The mining camp is done. And I really like it. If you like it, hit the like button. If you're enjoying the series so far, hit the subscribe. And if you want to get notified when the next episode's out, hit that bell. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!